What's good my beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get that nice depth of field blurry background effect on your face cam sources within OBS. And we're not here to talk about some expensive camera setup with an expensive lens that you need to have. That is not required. You can use any camera that you have. It can be plain as like a brick wall, but we're going to make it look like this and even like this. I think both of these options are really cool, whether or not you wanna have the blur adjusting to where you are in the video picture, or if you wanna have that more natural blur effect around you. If you wanna go with that second customizable option, then skip to this time in the video and I'll show you how to do it. But if you're looking to do that zoom meeting effect, then let's get right into it. So to get this started, you first wanna to go to your preferred browser and go to meet.google.com. Once you're here, go ahead and select the new meeting button and then start an instant meeting. Once you're all loaded in, you wanna make sure that you have your camera turned on. And if the camera you're seeing is not the one that you wanna use, then you wanna to go to the more options button right here, three dotted icon, and then select the settings option and then go to video. And within here, this is where you can select the camera that you wanna use. For me, I wanna go with the Elgato face cam. So I already have that selected, but once you select yours, you should see it appear on screen just like so. Now we wanna add an effect to it. So to do that, we're gonna go back to that more options button, and then we're gonna to go to apply visual effects. You'll see the no effect and blur effects at the top here. So you can either go with a slight blur and this will also track you and follow you. It's a little bit more subtle. I think this looks really clean and nice and it knows exactly where your face is, but that goes for the same for the heavier blur option. And this gives the zoom meeting effect that people like so much where the blur tracks you around and it adjusts to where you are in the video picture. Now that we have the video picture, how are we gonna get that into OBS? I'm gonna go ahead and add a new source within my gameplay scene and this is going to be a window capture. You can name this whatever you'd like. And now I just wanna make sure that the Google Chrome window is selected. You will need to keep this window open, so do not minimize it or else you won't see the window appear. But once you do that, go ahead and select OK. I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit. And now to clean this up so I just have my camera showing, I wanna press the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Mac, and this will allow me to shrink in the sides here. See, there you go. And now if I just take my hand off of the Alt or the Option key, just take the corner, shrink it in, put the face cam wherever you prefer, and boom, you are good to go. You have a full on face cam gameplay with the nice blurry background, gives your stream a really nice effect. And yeah, that's all there is to it. This second method we're about to get into is a bit more customizable. It's meant to give your video picture a more realistic blur background effect. To do this, you're going to need to install the Stream Effects plugin. I left the link in the description below, but on this site, you just wanna go to go to download and you'll go to GitHub. And then within here, you're just gonna wanna scroll all the way down and download the corresponding asset depending on your operating system. The installation is very straightforward. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you run the installer so Windows says they're trying to protect your PC. Don't worry, StreamFX is totally safe. The majority of you guys are gonna go with the static install with the plugins being added to the default OBS Studio folder. With the plugins now installed on your computer, you wanna go ahead and restart OBS so that these newly added features load properly. Now you can go ahead and add a video capture device source, name it whatever you'd like, and then just go ahead and select the camera that you want to use for your input device. Mine's gonna be the Elgato face cam. There it is, gonna select okay. And now as you can see, we have the source added, but look behind me. It's so like, it's too sharp, it's too crisp. We don't want it this crisp. We want a nice depth of field background behind me. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead to the face cam blur and then we're gonna right click and then select filters. Once we're here, we're gonna add an effect filter. So go to the bottom left plus arrow here, select that and add blur. You can name it whatever you'd like. I'm gonna keep my name this blur. And then within here, this is where you can set the type of blur that you want. So my recommendation honestly is to go with Gaussian. That's what I found to be the nicest looking and where I can control the blur the most. But if you do have any graphical limitations on your resources, then I would go with dual filtering as an option for your blur. This blur just won't be as precise 
After you select your blur type, you can select a subtype of blur, which is just an added layer of effect on top of the blur that you already have. So for example, if we go with directional, and then we add up the blur a little bit, you can see that it's a little bit liney. If we go with zoom, you can see that it's kind of stretching in on me almost. I'm gonna go with the regular area here and then just set this probably to about five I'm pretty comfortable with. And now we wanna check out the apply a mask filter. So once you check that box off, you're gonna get additional options that you can modify. For the mask type, I'm just gonna keep that as region. And then for the edges, I'm gonna adjust that in to fill my face, like my position. So about to there. Top, we'll bring that down just a little bit. Right edge, we're gonna bring that in too. Bottom, we're not gonna touch. And now I'm gonna select the invert region. So that'll blur the surrounding area. But as you can see, it's still like pretty sharp. So we're gonna wanna add a little bit of a feather to that. So take the feather option and then scroll that down maybe to about halfway or so. And then just make adjustments to your edges so you can make it look as natural as possible. That is looking pretty good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and close and let's see how does that look guys? What do you think? And it's very natural. So if I move around, like other areas would be blurry. It's kind of like if your camera was on manual. If you guys like what you set up, then just go ahead, crop this bad boy down. I'm gonna use the alt key to bring in these sides a little bit. And there you guys have it. We have a pretty clean setup with a nice blurry background on the sides. We are in business. Now there's a lot more that the StreamFX plugin offers to OBS, so go ahead and read the OBS forum, which I linked below, and check out the other cool things that you can do with this plugin. Just be careful not to overdo it with some of these features as it can ramp up your CPU and your GPU, so less is more sometimes. But thank you guys so much for staying to the very end of the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit it with a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. If you have any questions whatsoever about what I showed you in this video, leave a comment down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And if you wanna know more tips and tricks about OBS and just how to stream record your gameplay in general, check out the videos linked on screen right now for more helpful tips for you. And besides that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.